wanted to make this vlog about like my reaction to the season finale of Pretty Little Liars because they're finally revealing A like for real because starting at the beginning of the next season or technically it's like the middle of the sixth season it's going to be like five years in the future where the girls are adults oh my god I cannot wait to watch this so there are going to be spoilers though for the episode like the new episode which is the big A reveal which is the season finale so if you have not watched that the next clips when I am watching it warning don't watch it spoiler alert I have absolutely no theories as to who a is honestly i think it could be anyone and they have like just had a lot of characters on this show drop off the face of the planet so it's probably gonna be one of those who we completely forgot about it's like bam i'm a and you're gonna be like what is as if it's different on the show from how you sort of envisioned in the books oh she, she is a much Guys, so, so I have popped some popcorn. I have a cappuccino, and I am so ready for this finale. Like, if I look really gross and ugly because I'm just so shocked, please ignore that because I'm so looking forward to this. Like, so, 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 so much. Say what? I just want to know who it is. Mr. De Laurentiis is dead, guys, and I thought I was filming it, and I wasn't, but he is dead, and I'm so confused, and so is Allie's brother, Jason. Like, what is going on? Say what? That's sketchy. But who is Charles? What? I didn't even know she was still on the show. I'm so confused. Cece? But she's a girl. I, 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 I don't. What the heck? Okay. So is like CC transgender, or I'm confused because if she's Charles, right now. Oh, that's Toby's mom. Oh my god. So many explanations. What the heck? Bethany's crazy. So many explanations. I can't even. This is insanity. Comment down below if you were like as confused as me and like this is just crazy. Like how she was best friends with Bethany at the Radley, which they had mentioned, but like Bethany's the one who threw Toby's mom off. Oh my god! Oh my god! So wait, Cece tried to protect her mom by hitting Bethany who ended up being Allie. I'm so confused because Allie didn't die. What the heck is going on at this point? I like, I know they keep answering things, but they keep answering things by having more questions and I just need to grasp what is going on. I... I can't. I killed Bethany. I've been sending Allie threats. I didn't want to hurt her. I just wanted to scare her. But that night, so many people were mad at the house. Mona killed oh, Bethany. The shovel was right there. It all happened so fast. What? <laughs> what is going on? Oh my god. It's Mona. What is going on? The plot twists and just the answers, but more questions. Pretty little liars, what are you gonna do to us? Oh my god, throwback! 
throwback. Such oh, how many seasons ago was that? Oh, they look so young. I knew it was Sarah. Oh, Emily. That's why Sarah left them in the A room by themselves. Oh yeah. By saying they're not her, it's fine that she did it because she didn't actually hurt them. She knows they're watching. Oh my god, this is so creepy. I hope that Emily gets like a new love interest in the whole time change thing in the next five years when she's an adult because she's had really bad luck with relationships and I feel really bad for her. If Mona dies, I swear. Caw, Emily! Emily just punched Sarah. Oh my god. Labor Day weekend. Oh, they're all leaving. They're all going to college. Five years later, they're showing it. Ah! Wait, is Allie married? They're ending it like that? What? Oh my god. All right, guys. So I have finally calmed down after that episode. I am just so like emotionally and spent like my mind is just there was so much information in that episode it was kind of hard to grasp everything like because basically they wrapped up everything from all six seasons like they answered stuff from stuff about the first season like the first episode like questions that arose that episode that I completely forgot about like the Black Widow I completely forgot about that so the fact that Sarah was the Black Widow was like, pew, makes sense, but the fact that she came out of nowhere, like she only appeared this season, should have said something, cause like, she just appeared. And in Rosewood, when anyone comes out, like any character comes out of the blue, something's gonna happen to them, or they're sketchy. Oh my god, Cece is A, she is A, A is gone, but that's... That last scene, the flash forward, I knew it was going to happen because Lucy Hell tweeted about it and they had said that the next season was going to be five years ahead. But like, how is it that in like 20 seconds they crammed in so much suspense and drama? The fact that it either said Mrs. Rollins or Dr. Rollins and if it's Mrs. Rollins, that means Allie's married to that um, psychologist that they said is coming. and. Like, what the heck? And they're all adults, and they came back. Who is this he that's after Allie? My mind. I'm just, I'm so, and the best part, the best part from that whole finale had to be when Emily punched Sarah. I was like, oh my god, Emily, yes. I was like, uh-uh, I ain't having that. I think I've tweeted enough about it, too. I hope I didn't annoy anyone, but I, would, I have just been, it's been five years. Five years waiting for this finale. Like, Oh my god, I can't wait for season 6B, which is just the second part of season 6, because this was only the first part of season 6, and if this is only the first part, I can only imagine the next part. I can't wait to see all of the clothes that the girls wear, because they're not teenagers anymore. But I tweeted this, I'm really gonna miss those hollowed halls of Rosewood. Obviously, I think that's where Allie may have been, in Rosewood. Like, because she said she wanted to stay there, so she was in Rosewood High. But, like, oh my god, I just, I can't. I can't like I'm gonna miss it like them trying to figure out who A is and making all these stupid decisions and falling for every trap A who's CC ever threw their way oh my god there's just so much that happened and then how CC said that like oh I didn't actually hurt anyone so it doesn't matter that like I put my car through Emily's house or that I almost cut her in half and stuff because she's not actually cut in half <sighs> oh my god only on Pretty Little Liars do you hear stuff like that but I'm gonna go now. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Put down in the comments below everything that you thought about this because it was just, it was madness. Madness, that was the best season finale and honestly I thought the dollhouse season finale was like pretty, pretty good. Like I was not prepared for that at all and even though I knew A was gonna be revealed like dang, dang. I, I wish it hadn't been CC to be honest. Like the whole storyline was sad and everything and the fact that she's transgender, I fully like boom, I was not expecting that. But I kind of wanted it to be like Noel or Ren or someone like really, really sketchy. But I don't even care because 
this episode was just there's so much to talk about and like none of my friends watch the show so I have no one to talk to about it and I hate it so I'm talking to you guys I'm gonna respond to your comments and stuff down below so remember to leave those give it a thumbs up if you were shocked and really liked that season finale so I hope you guys have a wonderful day I hope you guys liked this finale because I know I sure did and I will see you guys in my next vlog bye